So hi and welcome to this video. So uh, today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be learning how to send SMS messages using PHP. Um, before we get started, I'm just also going to say um, that I'm not using the local host and uh, uh, using XAMPP. I mean, I'm not using XAMPP, I'm using my actual server. And that's because for this to work, you need to have curl installed on your computer uh, or the server you want to host it off. And my computer doesn't have it because XAMPP doesn't come with it. Um, so uh, you need, uh, my actual web server does have curl. So uh, I can use it off there. But um, uh, if you don't worry about curl because most web hosts actually come with it, even if they're free web hosts or uh, shared web hosts that cost money. Um, but if you go uh, and sign up to DigitalOcean and you um, choose an Ubuntu uh, VPS server, yeah, uh, you have to choose, um, there's like loads of different options and there's an Ubuntu option. As long as you choose that, you should uh, be okay and you should have a curl installed in your computer as well. Uh, so uh, let's get started. So uh, today we're going to be uh, doing is we're going to be using um, an, uh, a website called Clockwork. It's actually an SMS gateway, and what an SMS gateway is, is it uh, just allows you to send text messages um, to mobile phones over um, the internet. So um, if I go over to Clockwork here, you have to actually create an account. Um, so I'm just going to log out. Uh, I'm just going to Clockwork. So, uh, oh, I'll probably have to put an SMS gateway. So here's Clockwork SMS. Um, the only the reason we're using this is because um, the messages are cheap to send, and um, uh, it's really easy to actually uh, do. So uh, what you're going to want to do is you want to go to sign up, and you want to uh, just create an account. Uh, so once you've created an account, you obviously just want to log in, and um, Here's your account. It actually should come with 10p uh, of credit, but mine comes with 5p because I tested it out earlier. So the first thing you want to do is uh, you want to go to sending and you want to go to uh, from address. And you want to put in uh, who the sender you want to be of the message so that when the person receives the message, uh, you want uh, this will be the um, sort of the name of the person who shows up as. So you can put in your own name or whatever. And then that means any message you sent from Clockwork would uh, have your name as the sender. So I just put in high code because um, obviously since it's coming from highcode.org, uh, we want it to uh, say high code. Then uh, you'll uh, get an API key automatically when you start uh, create your account. So here's my API key. We need to keep that uh, because we need to use that whenever we're creating our uh, script. And that's basically everything I need to go over at the start. So uh, now we're basically ready to uh, actually start writing the uh, code. Okay, so there's actually one more thing we need to do. Uh, we need to go back to Clockwork and we need to get the Clockwork PHP wrapper. So uh, you just want to go to this website. I've just pasted it in. Uh, you'll probably be able to find it by just going to uh, Clockwork SMS and uh, typing in type in Clockwork SMS PHP wrapper in Google. But I'll just show you how, to, how I got to that. You just go down here, click on documentation. Uh, then you go to code wrappers and you click on PHP wrapper. And then you just click download PHP wrapper. And this, uh, you just click uh, download zip and that will uh, let you download the PHP wrapper. So once you have the PHP wrapper downloaded, you want to uh, open it up. So here it is here. Here's the uh, extracted version. What we want to do is we just want to uh, copy uh, class clockwork.php and class clockwork exception.php. Just want to copy them. And uh, as you see here, I've already pasted them in, but that doesn't matter. Just paste them in here um, in your uh, directory, and then you're ready to actually start uh, going. So then what you want to do is you want to actually use the PHP tags and create your script. It's really easy. It only takes about, uh, it'll only take about a minute really to write. So the first thing uh, that you want to do is you want to uh, create a variable called API key. I want to set that equal to the API key we get from Clockwork. So I just have to go back to Clockwork SMS. Uh, and I want to re-log in again. Then I want to go to API keys and I want to copy my API key. And then what we want to do is we want to actually require the Clockwork class. So uh, we probably want to do that at the top actually. 
So just put in a uh, require class clockwork dot php and uh, that's just the file uh, in here that's just this file we don't need to worry about this file because this file clockwork or class clockwork exception is actually included inside of class clockwork dot php so we don't need to worry about that then what we want to do is we want to create uh, a new instance of the clockwork um, object so we just want to create a new clockwork object so we want to create a variable called clockwork or whatever you want and we're going to set it equal to new clockwork and then we just want to set uh, in here. We just want to paste in, uh, not paste in. Uh, we want to put in uh, the uh, API key. Then what we want to do is we want to create an array. So let's go over here and create an array, and we're going to call it uh, message. Uh, and we're just going to set this. We actually need set this equal to an array. This is so easy. It's just exactly what was uh, on the Clockwork documentation. The first one we want to set two, and we want to uh, assign that uh, equal to uh, the number we want to actually send the uh, text message to. So um, I actually obviously um, have to put in my number. So I'm obviously going to um, uh, fade this out, so that way obviously I don't want my number all over the internet. So I'm going to put my number in, and also you have to put in the area code as well um, to make sure that it works. Okay, so I've just put my number in, so just make sure you put your own number in. Um, and um, just make sure that, um, well, that's basically, just make sure you put your number in, you may put it in correctly with the area code uh, at the start. Then what we want to do is, um, uh, we actually want to change that to single quotes. Then what we want to say is we want to put a comma and we want to say message. And we want to set that equal to, and this is obviously just a message you want to send. So I'm just going to say uh, this is a test text message from icode.org. And that's almost it. There was only one more thing to do. We just want to create a variable. We can call it whatever we want. We'll just say, I don't know, done equals clockwork. And then a, a minus sign and then an arrow, which just means we're using the clockwork object and we're getting a class from it. So in our case, it's send. And then we just want to say, we actually want to change this. It's actually not that. We have to change this to a variable called clockwork, which is uh, our instance of the clockwork API. So, uh, or I mean the clockwork object. So then we want to say in here is just um, message. So this sends our message. So uh, now I'm going to um, run, the, I'm going to upload this script to the uh, server. So I just want to come over here and I want to upload all these files. And um, I'll be back when they're done. Okay, so now those files have been uploaded, I just want to uh, refresh the directory. And as you'll see, uh, whenever it refreshes, it's a bit slow, I don't know why. Um, okay, we have a problem with that. Let's just go over to the folder and let's say did it upload. So as you can see, our files did upload. And uh, now I'm going to go to my phone and I'm going to um, um, put it on the screen so that everybody can see that the message actually gets uh, sent and received. So, okay, I've got my phone up, uh, so I'll just turn it off for now. Uh, so I'm just going to click on um, index.php. This will run the script. It takes a couple of seconds because it's obviously got, um, it has to communicate with the uh, Blackwork server and everything, as well as just the regular high code one. As you can see, it uh, loaded with no errors or no problems or whatever. And as you can see, our message uh, shows up on my phone. If I uh, just open it up, uh, you can see uh, it says, this is a test message from Heiko.org. So um, that's it for this video. Whoops. That's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed it. And also, um, if there's anything else you want to learn, if you want to see a more in-depth video about how this actually works without using the uh, simple wrappers and things from uh, Clockwork or another uh, SMS gateway, just let me know and I'll uh, make a video about it. So that's it for this video. Again, as I said, don't forget to like, comment, favorite and subscribe and thanks for watching.